disappointed too. I, I was thinking about that. <laughs> Stay hydrated if you're heading to something like baseball. Sit outdoors in the heat today. Yesterday I took the kids down to the Splash Park. That was a good option as well. So I would definitely plan to uh, keep cool as best you can the next couple of days. We also have the same uh, concerns the last few afternoons in terms of an air quality advisory. It's been reissued for today for the Metro County. So keep that in mind if you're uh, prone to having problems outdoors with your uh, breathing abilities. Temperatures the last couple of days have been in the low 90s. Yesterday the high was 95 for hourly temperatures. The heat index peak was 90 or the high was 91. The heat index peak was 95. Today the forecast 92. We could see that heat index upwards of 97, maybe 98 degrees. I think it's going to feel a little bit hotter this afternoon. We reintroduce a little bit more humidity and with that we may see a couple of clouds. A very stray storm chance will be possible this afternoon. Here's satellite and radar with the clearing skies during the overnight. It's mostly clear and very quiet this morning. We do have a touch of fog in our usual suspect locations, especially on the east side down near Lunkin. But from downtown, it's looking good with high visibility in the city at 10 miles. The temperature's at 72, that heat index matching it, and we have that dew point near 70. So we're talking near the oppressive category for our humidity. The winds are calm. Out across the plains, excessive heat warnings and heat advisories. They edge close down through Louisville, but not quite in for us today. We may see that heat advisory criteria get met for Friday and Saturday and possibly even into Sunday. So it is on that way, on the way. That hot air out in the plains is edging our way. It's hot and it's humid air pushing into our direction and so that's going to allow that heat index to climb even higher today. We will more than likely stay dry for a good majority of us as high pressure continues, but we could see with a little bit more humidity a very stray afternoon or early evening thunderstorm. I don't think it's a lot of activity today. We will see a few more storms possible tomorrow that may slide in from the north to some complexes that stay together. So we increase the chance for some scattered storms on Friday and we'll have an increased chance into the weekend as well. So maybe a little bit of relief at times from the heat because of a few storms. 92 for a high today, a little bit hotter than we've been the last couple of days. 72 for a low tonight, another warm and muggy overnight. We're at 92 tomorrow. That heat index probably around 100 for the weekend. 93 Saturday and Sunday. That heat index probably a little bit higher than 100. Scattered storms to start off our weekend. There'll probably probably be a few more of them Sunday and Monday. I think that looks like our best windows to get thunderstorms late in the forecast. Temperatures are back into the 80s. Kyla. Hey, Jennifer, talking about more construction because we really don't have any accidents or other major incidents out there. So that's good news. But we do have quite a few uh, cone zones to cover for you. So let's start out uh, along I-71. We still have this closure on Cornell Road. That bridge also seeing a replacement project this summer. So that is closed.